Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Yasudian, one of the dermatologists based in the UK. Today I thought I would look at a lecture from the American Academy of Dermatology meeting from earlier this year that discussed the importance of diet in preventing skin cancer. The lecture was given by Dr. Rajani Kata from the University of Houston, Texas and discusses the various foods that may be helpful in prevention of skin cancer. A major drawback is that it is very difficult to authoritatively prove the protective effects of food on skin cancer as well-designed studies are difficult in real-life clinic settings. The first point to note is that sun protection and avoidance is by far the most important environmental factor in preventing skin cancer in those who have fair skin. No amount of dietary modification can change that risk particularly if there was significant sun damage when we were younger. Perhaps the most predictive history of future skin cancers is the number of sunburns to the point of blistering before the age of 20. Note, however, that ultraviolet light plays a more minor role in skin cancers affecting skin of color. This is something I've already discussed in another video titled Melanoma in Skin of Color. So how can diet influence the occurrence of skin cancer? There were a couple of early studies that provoked this interest. The first was from the 1970s, where animal models showed a diet rich in antioxidants resulted in fewer skin cancers. The pictures from the article were quite dramatic, and we can clearly observe the reduction in squamous cell carcinomas in irradiated albino rats in the lower row. These rats had antioxidant supplements, including vitamin C, E, and glutathione, whilst those in the upper row did not. The second study was a randomized controlled trial published in the British Journal of Dermatology, which suggested that tomato paste given to human volunteers protected them from ultraviolet light-induced erythema. Tomato paste is rich in lycopene, and this potentially prevents long-term photo damage. It has also been established that other foods like selenium, vitamin C, and carotenoids can provide antioxidant defenses. To understand how diet can protect against ultraviolet light, we first need to be aware of how ultraviolet light damages the skin. There are three major processes that age the skin, oxidation, inflammation, and glycation. Ultraviolet light affects the skin either by direct damage or by the production of free radicals causing oxidation. It can trigger inflammatory pathways and this increases the risk of tumor formation and solar aging. Finally, glycation that occurs due to increased glucose levels in the skin is also known to predispose to accelerated skin aging. So how can diet influence skin cancers? Each of the pathways of ultraviolet damage that we have discussed can be counteracted with diet. It can quench free radicals, replenish antioxidants, downregulate inflammation and enhance DNA repair. Dietary antioxidants have documented clinical, histologic, and biochemical benefits. Human interventional studies have shown these benefits in green tea polyphenols, cocoa, and pomegranate. Laboratory studies have also shown benefit with antioxidants found in tomatoes, raspberries, soy, turmeric, onions, and grapes. There are some foods that are anti-inflammatory too. Ginger, garlic, saffron, and pepper fall into this category. So can we just supplement the antioxidants with pills and hope that they work? Unfortunately not. Trials of supplements have failed to demonstrate benefit in the same way that those found in whole food. They do not specifically protect against sun damage and do not have the additional health benefits either. In fact, one supplement study that included high dose vitamin C, E, selenium, zinc, and beta carotene actually showed an increase in skin cancer. Nicotinamide, a form of vitamin B3, may increase the cellular energy required for DNA repair. This approach has shown some promise in randomized controlled trials in patients at high risk of skin cancer. I've already done a video on this, and therefore I've recommended it at a dose of 500 mg twice a day to all my patients who are at risk of skin cancers, particularly if they've already had non-melanoma skin cancers excised. So what would be the best recommendations given these scientific reviews? 
For those interested in skin protective diet, we should focus on ways of eating that are naturally rich in antioxidants and emphasize the importance of unprocessed foods. All the foods that have been mentioned before can be used to enhance our protection against UV damage. Ideally, diets such as Mediterranean diet, which include a variety of whole fruits and vegetables, and lots of herbs and spices, as well as seeds and nuts, are the best way to prevent skin cancers and reduce the aging process. Note that processed food fortified with these antioxidants do not help. Whole food plant-based diet seems to be ideal not only for skin health and younger looking skin, but also for our general well-being. I hope you found this information useful. Thanks for listening and bye.